Hey heroes, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Uh, we're playing Soul Stone Survivors, and I totally get why people love vampire survivors. Uh, so I've been playing this game a ton. I even got this for my wife. Uh, it's only 13 bucks Canadian uh, on Steam, uh, so probably about 10 bucks uh, US, and so fun, so fun. So as you can see, uh, since the last time I've played, uh, or my last video, uh, a few days has passed and I've unlocked almost all of the uh, characters right now. The only guys left is this guy over here and probably this uh, Death Knight. Uh, I'm, what I'm doing today is I'm going to hopefully show you uh, what I think is one of the best builds for the game as well as uh, I'm going to be showing off some higher end content uh, on the way to earn this character. So uh, we have selected the Arcane Weaver. We have crafted this staff here, the uh, Ignis Great Staff of Despair, giving I believe an additional plus 15% damage modifier. We lose some armor but we also gain more movement speed which is very important in the game as well as we get even more experience. I, I don't know whether this is on its own or whether it stacks with with the stats up here, I'm not too sure. Quickly, let's take a look at the runes. Uh, I have actually unlocked almost nearly everything on the skill tree. Well, anything that costs money, uh, basically I have uh, almost 800,000 just sitting there. And, and I basically need to use the Corrupted Soul Gems to unlock anything further. And I've unlocked all of the uh, runic powers. So here, uh, when you complete specific achievements, uh, usually uh, when you hit level, I believe, 30, level uh, 60, and if you do something special with your character, you'll, earn sp you'll unlock special runes. So the ones I have selected right here is Weapons Expert, giving us an additional ability or, or uh, skill uh, at, at the beginning of the game, basically doubling your, your DPS. We have Skill Mastery Arcane, giving us six random active skill types uh, that would normally not be available to us, as well as Critical Mastery, which is very important. 100% of your critical chance is added to your critical damage multiplier when calculating critical damage. Uh, so um, let's jump right into it then. So we have this character selected and we are going to go fight. So we have to do the Frozen Waste. And so we're going to be doing so uh, I've already completed this this uh, map before. So so once you complete the map, uh, you're able to, to do it at higher difficulties and you're, you're basically adding curses. So I'm on uh, curse three. It's not only these curses that I've selected, but it's all the previous levels as well. So so it, it I believe they all stack. So I have 18 different curses, basically increasing enemy health, damage, their attack speed, their movement speed, and the lord the lords are going to have 300% 360% extra health so this is on the way to being able to unlock the uh the death knight so i have to get all the way to 5 and already 3 is actually very tough so i'm hoping that this will be a successful uh video for us okay so let's just quickly pause the game so I start off with two abilities. Fiery Missiles uh, is a channeled ability that launches three fiery missiles uh, dealing damage. Uh, the big thing is that it applies burn dealing 60 damage over eight seconds. And then Fire Pillars is an AOE that deals damage and then it reduces uh, armor, but also de uh, deals damage over time. So uh, basically what we're looking at is high damage over time, but that is actually not what we're going for today. I basically picked this guy for the high experience. So it, it already feels like that there are a lot of a lot more enemies than in, in, in say the very first video that I've done. Let's see, let's see if I can get a level up. There we go. Th this should level me up. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go for damage right here, increased damage just across the board, flat damage. So the goal is to get as much experience as fast as we can and uh, basically survive because uh, this is, Curse 3 is, is, is no joke. So I'm trying to group them together and perfect, the game are, is, is helping me out already. So this is part of the build. So I picked Arcane Beam and it does high amount of damage focused. So I'm hoping that maybe the game knows what I'm trying to do and it's going to give me all the skills that I need. 
Let's see, area of effect, fire pillar, no. Uh, expansive, hmm. So none of these are really good, and I'm not going to be using fire pillar in, in this game. So I'm going to go uh, this, I guess. Okay, so I'm, j I'm also paying attention. Oh, it's odd that we get those melee guys first. Huh. Usually we get the mages first. Ah, uh, what are we going to do? Cast frequency or armor? Hmm. Let's do armor. Normally I would do the cast frequency, which is very important, but uh, I'm going to, uh, like, the, I'm going to, the enemies deal a lot of damage in, 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 in this, in this one. Hey, Blizzard, never seen this before. Conjures a blizzard over a random enemy, hitting enemies, oh, multiple times. I'll do that. I've never seen that yet. There we go, leveled up. Ah, uh, let's see, fire and missiles, no. Area, I might take that. But frailty is also part of this build. So let's uh, keep leveling up. Ooh, multicast of blizzard. Okay, sure, let's go for it. So I guess blizzard is going to be part of this build today. Oh, so I'm going to go for magic missile. Magic missile is also part of this build. Basically, you're going to see that we're focusing our attacks. It's a very narrow focus of damage, but it'll be a lot of damage. So let's see. Doom or Behemoth? Ah, uh, Let's go for health. I'm going to need the health for this one. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Enemies are dying quite fast, which is good. I need to kill faster, though. There we go, yeah. Let's see, magnetic or agile? Hmm, very good question. Ah, uh, let's go agile. Let's see, so let's see, for my fifth ability, let's see, lightning bolt. Hmm. It's very important right now, let's re-roll. Light beam, perfect, the game knows exactly what I need. So this is the build. You have arcane beam and light beam going at the same time, dealing a high amount of damage, although light beam is significantly less than arcane, but is basically two beams going at the same time. And then chaos golem, I'm hoping to get later on. So let's do light beam, and then let's do more frailty. Did, did I say what, what frailty does? Basically it increases, the it, it stacks. Each stack increases the damage here. Oh, oh, let's see, frailty here. So each stack of frailty, um, or each time I pick frailty, is increasing all damage of the enemy uh, being received by six by three percent each each um, time I select it. So I've selected it twice. So each stack is increasing all damage received by six percent. So if it has two stacks, that's twelve percent, which is crazy. So I'm also going to pick lethality. This is increased crit damage. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So as you can see, things are, are, are really starting to melt now. There we go, there we go, there we go. Perfect, the game knows exactly what I want. So I'm going to switch out now. I'm going to switch out the, the fiery missiles. I I honestly just picked this 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 character for for the abilities. I did not pick it for... for for the starting uh, skills. Starting skills, it's actually not that great. Now, this is a good question. Do I want more? This is a rather rare. I'm gonna go for Leviathan. Now, this is what's gonna help us. It slows us down by a certain percentage, but it also increases our damage by, by, by twice as much. So I need to make sure that I'm keeping my speed up, but at the same time, but I'll, I'll be increasing my damage tremendously. Look at that mage go down. They're going down. You're going down. So basically, I'm going to be looking at enemies, and they're just going to die right off the bat. So I'm going to have to keep that agile up. Yeah, look at that. I just look at enemies. Oh, that's some bad lag. Okay, or bad. Uh, okay, one of the worst uh, bosses spawned. That the that devil guy. He's going to put tons of AOEs on the ground. So the question is, do I want to replace Fire Pillar with one of these abilities? And probably it's going to be Arcane Orb. It does. A lot of uh, it, 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 it basically fills up my screen. So let's uh, kill this guy. And this guy's almost dead already. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. Stay away from that guy. Can't really see what's happening. Uh, increased cast frequency. Yes. 
Let's take out this guy. Look at those two bosses down in like two seconds. Uh, lethality increase crit damage by ten crit damage chance by ten percent or increase crit damage. Uh, let's keep in, since it's an uncommon. We're selecting the higher rarity one. Let's see. Shall we increase damage of light beam? Increase block power? Or let's go with. Um, it's because we're on curse level three, which is actually very difficult, which is why I'm I'm contemplating this. I'm not going with any dots at all. We're, we're doing straight straight damage. So we're so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, great. I'm liking Blizzard. There we go. There we go. There we go. When it's safe, I'm gonna go walk into that AOE. I can't uh, frailty. You know what? Let's take some Indomitable. Oh wow, those guys are coming down fast. Increase the damage? Hell yeah. If the damage is ever less than 30%, I will be going for probably a different one. So let's see. So see, although this is only 5% damage, it's going to be affecting all, of, all six of my abilities. So essentially that's 30% additional damage. Uh, I'm not going for a dot. I'm not increasing the AOE, although that might affect my blizzard. Uh, the I don't feel like this. This it says increases the area effect of all your skills and the size of all your projectiles. I don't feel like expansive. The area affects the beams. The beams don't seem to be getting any thicker. So and it doesn't really matter if my magic missiles become bigger because they don't. Oh, actually, they pierce. So but I'm going to go with the five percent extra damage. And right away, this is basically the build. Um, sometimes I would find like uh, maybe another uh, uh, another um, single target or like a, a, a beam attack. Uh, there's no other beam attacks, but there are like uh, bolts and that kind of stuff uh, that I would typically use. But since Blizzard is new, and let's see what it does it do. It, it does a high amount of damage. So let's see, should I take Arcane Beam? 30% more damage. Heck yeah. As you can see, I look at an enemy and they die. Let's see. The only the only problem is is that I'm not really killing enemies like a ton of enemies quickly. Is uh, so I have to aim and hit as many people as I can all the time. A uh, thousand percent, a hundred percent chance to deal critical strikes. Um, I don't think that is what I want. I can go with that. There we go. There we go. As you can see with this difficulty, those uh, suicide bombers are spawning. Um, uh, faster. Ooh, what's this? This is new too. Summon a total of 10 arcane pillars away from you that quickly converge to your position. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And then, oh, I wonder if I picked any blizzard buffs. Did I pick? I did pick one blizzard buff, so I'll take that in the future. That is pretty cool. Let's see. Increase your damage uh, of all magical abilities. One, two, three, four, five, six. All six of my um, Skills now get 50% damage increase, which is crazy. But uh, I do have to watch out because as you can see in this difficulty, those mages are casting huge AOEs on the ground. Uh, let's see, increase damage across the board by 10% or uh, that, yeah, this. I do have to watch out. I can't pick Leviathan too many times without raising my, um, without raising my speed. So let's see, I can increase the damage of Blizzard by 30%. I can increase the frequency of Arcane Orb or slow things down. I'm going to go with Blizzard. Blizzard and damage. One of the goals I've also been trying to do is I've been trying to see whether I can complete a round uh, in, un, uh, in under 10 minutes because that will allow me to unlock that other character. But it's, it's a very difficult challenge. So let's see, we can increase the, the um, quantity of my golems. I don't really care about that. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards actually more crit damage or more experience. We'll take more experience. That's basically like, like two choices right there. There we go. Let's see, damage by 30%. I'll, I'll take this now, the 24% additional crit, crit damage. Everything's just melting right now. Let's see, we'll be fighting a Lord in a moment. Frailty or magic missile speed, we'll go for with frailty. There we go. So next time, next time we level up, we'll check to see how much um, frailty we have. So we have three, three stacks of frailty. So each stack increases all damage received by nine percent. 
uh, glacier, nope. Uh, cast frequency, lethality, or health. Mm, we'll take lethality. Okay, let's go. There's that mage, pesky mages. Get them out. Let's see, area by of that. Yes, let's go with that. Okay, tons of health all over here. Let's see, should I go with Leviathan? I'm going to go with damage. I'm not going to hit Leviathan until I get another speed boost. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Looks like there's some mage. Oh, so bosses spawned. Let's take out these uh, mages first. Let's see, do we want to increase the damage of our golems? Not really. Here's the speed that we wanted. There we go. Let's go find those bosses. They're somewhere. Uh, right there. There's a big one. Let's see. Here's some more speed. Heck yeah. I'll take that. I'll let me sneak up on this guy. And as you can see... Oh, I got hit hard. There. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that guy died. Let's see. Multicast of light beam. Sure. Or damage by 30%. Let's go light beam. Oh yeah. That guy died. So both, both bosses are already dead. I'm going to sneak up on these mages and take them down in two seconds. Let's see. Damage. Oh no, I'm going to go with some armor power now because I am getting hit once in a while and I want to make sure I don't die like um, instantly. Because that crystal, let's see. Critical strikes have a 10%, 100% chance to wound. That will, anytime you apply wound, um, there is... Uh, I'll do it. Merciless. Increase your crit damage by 36%. Heck yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. All I have to do is look at some of these guys for like a second, and that's it. Uh, let's see. Damage by 45% or light beam. Oh, let's go arcane orbs. Arcane orbs is going to help me take out... Um... Actually, this doesn't last very long. I need something that increases the duration of arcane orbs. Let's see, let's see. Oh, being a little aggressive there. Oh, we got the Korbas that, that are spawning. They have a pretty big AoE. Let's see, we can increase the damage of our golems or inc t let them take less damage or just get more health. I will take damage. Let's see, how close are we? We need about 300 more kills before. What's it called? Let's see, we could increase the health of Chaos Columns or increase our multicast chance. I, have, I, don't, I haven't seen it, me picking that up, but that's pretty good. Um, nah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah. So, oh, there's some damage there. I didn't, did not need to destroy that. You might notice that uh, when I'm leveling up, or I have a, a, a skill that when I level up, it, it, it restores like maybe 5 or 10 health. So I don't have to look for those health crystals too often. Let's see. Leviathan or cast frequency or crit damage? Hmm. Good question. Uh, I think I'll go with more. We'll go pure, pure damage this time. Let's see. We're about 150 away. Look at all the experience right there. Area effect, frontal. Ah, sure. Let's do it. Nothing looks bigger, though. Okay, let's get to dead. Help my golem. <laughs> let's see. Let's see, what are we going for? Leviathan or Agile? I'll go with Leviathan, since I did pick up some uh, uh, rare... And Uncommon the game is a little laggy right now. Oh, here's the here's this guy. This guy's gonna die in a second. Look at that. Look how fast he died. Let's go kill this guy. Watch watch his health bar. Nope. That's amazing. Oh, no. I just took a big shot to the face. There we go. And I feel like when you pick up those big uh, corrupted crystals, it sucks up uh, the other experienced crystals all around. Oh, I can take a big magnetic. Sure, let's get some even more experience. What do we got? Increase damage of Blizzard or increase all damage? Oh, let's do all damage. 
Okay, let's help this golem over here. Oh my god, things are just melting. Let's see, so we're on the 7th and 8th Void Lord in a moment. Let's see, ooh, we got a legendary one. Increase multicast chance by 60% or increase the area. Yeah, multicast chance. Let's see that, let's see that magic missile shoot off a lot. Okay, those guys are dead, those guys are dead. Golems are under siege, but then I just, uh oh, we got some big guys over there. Big melee guys. <laughs> but they die. Let's see, magnetic. Cast frequency. Uh, let's go for cast frequency. I'm actually tempted to uh, get get some of that slow debuff for them because there will be uh, elite spiders that spawn, and, and and they're actually quite dangerous. Let's see, increased damage by arcane orb. Heck yeah, because arcane orb is hitting a lot of enemies. Let's see how many more enemies. Under 100 enemies, and then uh, Lord 7 and 8 are going to spawn. Okay, there we go. There we go. Help out that golem a little bit. There we go. Oh, there we go. So what do we got? We got the Plague Bearer and uh, the Fallen King. Okay. Should we go for Agile or let's go for Agile. Let's see, this guy's gonna die in a second. Yep, he did. Gotta be careful with this. That guy, he's like spinning around. Spin to win, and he's dead too. Damn. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Damage increase of arcane orbs. Yeah. Whenever it's more than 30%, I'll take I'll take the more. I'll take the more. If it's exactly 30%, I'd probably just go for these 5% five, 5 across the board. There we go. There's a lot of spellcasters somewhere. There we go. Let's take, take them out. So basically, I'm just running into them, and by the time I get to them, they're dead. Let's see. Damage increased by Blizzard? Heck yeah, sure. Go for it. There we go. In my next video, I'll probably show off an AoE build. Uh, the AoE build is, uh, if done, cr if you get the right skills, like I thankfully got in this one, uh, is actually quite effective too. Uh, but um, it's hard to see. It's hard to see. See, in, in this game, I can see the ground very easily. But in in an AoE build, th there are just too much stuff happening on the screen, and uh, it's, it's it's just hard to see. Let's go for more multicasting. Let's take out this uh, spellcaster. Oh, he lived there. There we go. We got two arcane orbs shooting off right there. Let's see. We have how many more? We have about 200 more enemies to kill. Okay. Gotta watch out. Those mages are causing a lot of AoEs on the ground. Let's see. Let's see, Merciless, yeah, 30% more more crit damage, heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just look at them, they die. How many more? About 100 more. Unfortunately, the 10 minutes passed. So I'm still not as effective, or I'm not playing the map. I think I need to play maybe on a, I don't know, an easier difficulty, or maybe an even harder difficulty to get a lot of enemies on the screen but also have the dps to kill them fast so let's take up let's take, pick up the leviathan 10 percent more more health or oh, sorry uh more damage i mean let's get that uh viper there we go there we go kill all those guys there's only 100 more we're almost done bosses are gonna spawn in three two one there we go uh, and we'll take frailty. Hard to see, but that's a boss. Oh man. Computer's chugging today. There we go. That is curse level curse level three. My uh, what's it called? Let me just get here. And then see at the end. I can choose the new this is the endless mode. This is overlord mode uh, from 
I don't really know the difference right now. I'll have to check the description or the patch notes, but let's just uh, enter this portal right here. And we'll just look at the stats. So this is my, uh, I guess my focus build uh, with on um, difficulty three. Uh, because it's such a good build, it makes it seem like it was really easy. Uh, but if you have other builds or like just, just a random build, it will be much harder, you, you know? So just to go over the, 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 the main things that made this good was the arcane beam coupled with light beam and magic missile and then you have the chaos golems to draw attention away from you otherwise you have to spend a lot of time running around and you take a lot more damage at, at which point um th these three as you saw was enough dps that i didn't really like blizzard was was great to have but i didn't need it same thing with arcane orb so you can switch these two abilities with something else if you want to if 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 you play but uh, that is my run today. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this is Soul Stone Survivors. Came out uh, a few weeks ago on Steam. Uh, once again, it's only 13 bucks Canadian, 10 bucks US, and uh, really fun. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on Soul Stone Survivors, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.